This is Joe Vec Levick from CME Group here in Chicago. Soybean market traded both sides of unchanged in a choppy action here on Tuesday. The market started the day higher, then reverted back lower a little bit later. We've been kind of confined to a fairly tight range here recently, kind of a sideways action during the last couple of weeks. Some good news for the bulls in this market is that Chinese buyers returned from vacation this week, and we did see a flash sale here this morning at 8 o'clock Central Time. Uh, anybody who would like to see this market go higher would love to see more demand from China. Uh, you know, export demand's been strong, but USDA's got a really lofty projection punched into their balance sheet for the 17-18 marketing year. So we really need to see this type of demand continue and we need to see these daily flash sales to continue in order to hit that projection. I believe USDA is looking for 3 or 4% growth in export demand this year, and that's pretty normal relative to what we've seen the last four or five years, but we need to see uh, exports hit those demand projections in order to avoid more bushels on an already burdensome balance sheet. We've got a USDA report on Thursday morning. The big ticket item here is the yield number. A lot of traders believe that USDA might, might go slightly higher with their yield number this month after increasing it in both August and September. So we're looking for a number right around 50 bushels per acre nationally. You know, a lot of the early yields have been a little bit better than expected, but we've really just seen the tip of the iceberg so far. There's been a lot of um, delays in terms of harvest, a lot of wet weather. So uh, a lot remains to be seen, but that USDA report again Thursday morning. Again, Joe Vec, Levick from CME Group here in Chicago.